guys welcome back to my channel <laughs> yes i read another book um did not want to put this book down okay i took this book to work and every minute i could get i was reading a chapter <laughs> or more i could not put this book down um i wouldn't say it was a, a, um obviously one sitting because obviously it had to go to work and time i finished it um i am this is the next day <laughs> so just over under just over 24 hours so this is fake flame by adele buck this oh my goodness um i have put it on my goodreads and i have put it on my instagram this was a five star for me oh my goodness okay so this goes to the back mm, the glare's gonna be fun but we know so you can't fake the heat like this to an observer holding a piano in onto a college campus to publicly incinerate an ex might seem like a romantic gesture to literal Professor Ava Campbell is the latest uh, manipulative move by cheating idiot who won't take a hint. Plus, she never liked that song anyway. Setting the piano on fire might be an overreaction, but Ava's at the end of her uh, taper, at least until a hot young fire, uh, firefighter, Sean Hannigan, talks her down. And then he offers to be uh, Ava's fake boyfriend to get her creepy ex off her back. Sean battles infernos for living, reads, uh, reads romance on the side, and a straight-up family-loving good guy. Ava's not sure she's ready for the danger he poses to her jaded heart. Despite the differences, the line between real and fake keeps blurring. So obviously it starts with um, Ava at work, you know, doing her bits. And she hears this song, she likes, oh no, I don't, don't, don't like to hear that. She's obviously gone out and sees her ex, Darren, who is currently playing on a piano with a sign up saying, um, Ava, will you take me back? Everyone thinks it's a romantic gesture and everything like that. Um, and she's like, I don't like that song, like, no, no thank you. Um, then so she got to the point where she was like, you know what, no, I'm not having this. She takes a friend, her friend's lighter and goes and gets some bug spray and goes to him, if you do not leave this premises, or if you do not leave me alone, I'm going to set you, basically set the piano on fire. And obviously someone was decided to call the uh, fire brigade and saying that we don't know what's going to be, it could be awesome, we don't know. So obviously the fire brigade comes in, we meet Sean, this big hunk of a freaking firefighter, okay, he's gone and gone to her like, you need to calm down, okay, why, why don't we go to the side and you can tell me all about it. Obviously they're under the tree, and he, um, while they're talking, Darren's trying to tell to um, Sean's uh, co-worker that she's a bit crazy and all this stuff, but obviously they don't fall for it at all. He's like, in his head, he's like, no, yeah, this is, this is it's just not right, no. Um, and obviously, Ava and Sean gets talking and it's her to calm down, you know, all this stuff. And then she's like, look, I, you might think I'm really stupid at this, but I do apologise for the way it is. And she, he's like, look, mate, look, honey, you're fine. I can see. And then obviously, as she goes on the thing, um, Sean goes to him, like, you need to leave her alone or like something like this. And he goes, what are you going to do about it? Like, you can't do anything. And then Sean's like, yeah, no, that's not going to happen. So obviously, they take part and leave it go. Sean then goes back to his, to the, um, to the fire station. And I can't make mate's name. Oh, my God. Cal. Why can't I remember his name? One of his um, colleagues mentioned um, Felix. Felix mentioned um, to him to read this book. Is about how two people um, got in um, to do this and they pretend to have a fake relationship. So Felix told Sean, why didn't you ask tell her about a fake relationship to get her ex away from her? Um, because Felix can tell that he's completely smitten by Ava already. Just the way that they were just talking about this for five minutes. And Sean wants to be with her all the time. And Ava feels the same because she's like, oh my god, this guy is amazing. So obviously he goes to her, goes to her university and goes up to her, to her classroom. Look, I'm just wondering, because obviously I don't want him coming to you, because the way he gave me, gave me the real creeps about what's going to happen. Did you want to dissipate the relationship? Before she can even say anything, Darren comes in and goes, You towered the ward off me, blah, blah, blah. And, um, he, and then she was like, um, can you not talk to my girlfriend like that? And she's like, didn't even say anything. She was like, just up to him, she's like, like shocked kind of almost because she didn't actually agree with it 
but he did it on impulse because he was just there and and couldn't do much about it. Otherwise, if Sean wasn't there, I think Darren would probably would have hurt her or something like that. Um, so there's that. Then we move on. How them two, uh, Sean and um, Ava get close together. They get to know each other so they can make this fake relationship work. Um, then they but they don't realise that both of them actually fall in love with each other and it's just so cute. I love it. There's these words. Um, where's my book bit? <laughs> I was just reading and literally the first few pages just had me cracking up because you heard uh, from Ava. Darren is a manipulative little arse weasel. What is an arse weasel? <laughs> I cracked up. I was like, oh my god. And then when um, obviously a big bot. When um, Sean was coming up to Ava to tell her to come down, she said, I'm being grilled by a walking bar of Irish uh, spring. It, yes, okay. Um, but Jesus, that is actually a word in there, and I use that when I get jumped. So when someone makes me jump, I will say the Jesus. Or something, like, something that surprises me, right? And um, then obviously, Dad's like, oh, you can't go in, you, you'll be able to leave him. Um, you end up leaving that guy because he's such a snob, and uh, Sean's like, you're lost my guy my game sorry you're lost my game not my guy my game um so it's make darren thing and then obviously darren's at the picture for a little bit we carry on for the end how these two will turn to make this fake relationship real they both tell their families that they've got so they're seeing someone both the families are like uh well mainly ava's side is like i'm a doctor well her dad's a doctor and then obviously the um her mom's the doctor's wife so they feel privileged that everything has to be right and from that when um, she said that he's a firefighter, well, when he said he's a firefighter, her dad's like, oh, I don't think that's compatible. You and Darren were so together and do this. And then she's like, you don't know anything, um, he's a cheater, blah, blah, blah. I was like, damn. And then she's like, yeah, no, play. Then obviously, they obviously because they've got a dinner, Sean's like, got up and went to the toilet, but actually was paying for the foot stuff. He's come back and gone, look, nice meeting you, met, um, you too, Mr. Campbell and all that, um, but I paid for dinner. Me and Ava are going to leave because this is this is not right. And basically just leaves. And I went, I'm, I'm going, damn. If my family was like that and someone did that to me, I'd be like, yes, please, I'll come in. Wee. You know? <laughs> I did not expect that at all. Um, Ouch. Then, obviously, Darren does come back in the picture again, saying how well, they're going to the, like, the thing. Just how he's like, oh, you, you will still leave him. You'll come back to me. You'll come running. I'll just might take you all back. I was like, I just want to punch Darren in the face so much because he irritates me. And yes, he's definitely an arse weasel. Oh my goodness, I want to punch that kid in the face. So the man in the face. Um, Ada has a cute dog as well, I forgot to mention. Anyway, gets the more thing goes on along. And um, stuff happens. Then obviously Ada meets Sean's family. Um, his six sisters, something like that. Obviously, about that Ada. And also one thing I love about Sean. He reads novels, like literally reads uh, romance novels and all sorts of like classic uh, novels as well. That's how they got to know each other more because they like the same kind of author and everything like that. And I went, oh my god, yes. Because she said she likes Jane Austen and obviously he said, yeah, I like Pride and Prejudice. Oh my goodness, yes, so cute. Um, so it's like a really cute thing. A firefighter who loves to read and wants to protect Ava. Sign me up, please. <laughs> um, so there is some spice in here as well. And um, when they first time have some fun in her office, um, it wasn't intercourse. It was just a bit of play down, down downstairs, and um, and obviously, well, but he, she had the downstairs pleasure first, then he had the next. <laughs> um, so that was quite different. Um, obviously this is probably like a little bit of a one spice slice, maybe two spice of the little bit of it. Um, so obviously there is a little bit more when they do eventually get to the uh, intercourse section. I tell you now, oh my goodness. Um, and obviously then it gets to the end where um, his parents are saying that he'll be good as a father. And she got kind of scared off by that because obviously she's quite a bit older, she's 41. And he's just a little bit younger than her. And um, she got scared of she She's kind of broke off. She's like, let's just take a break. Um, and at the time they took a break, Darren comes back knocking on her door saying, you goddamn slut, you need to let me in, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then obviously the police comes and then he's trying to weasel his way out of it saying, oh, I live here, I'm this. 
and then she's shouting going he doesn't live here you check his driving license it doesn't say he lives here and um he tapped if you can go to the college you'll see that the, he's got a report of him attacking me and stuff like this and i've got a um what's it called a restraining order on him and, she, and he's like you bitch i was like dang so obviously um after all that even though that's happened sean gets a call to go and rescue Curtis his fighting flying job he gets hurt he does get a concussion and a broken shoulder blade so even though they've broken up and um, his sister still rings Ava up and tells him tells her what happened she still goes there because no one else has told the family that they broke up so he's that she's gone there and told him she said to him even though she's fake sleeping i think i bit to it because she um, explains to him that she still loves him and everything like that. It doesn't matter what comes in the, in the road, they'll get there. They don't matter if, they want, if they're going to have kids or not. It's just so cute. And I'm like, oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Give me, give me, give me. And obviously, uh, the restraining order for Darren got told. He went basically for, I believe, he's going to jail. And basically, these two are living their lives. And at the end, he proposes to Ava. It was so freaking cute, okay? So yes, I gave this five stars. Amazing, I love this. Okay, next book is up. It's going to be Light Lark by Alex Astor. See you guys next time. Bye.